Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. In this video, we're in the science lab. We're going to do a little experiment. I got a scale set up over here, and we're going to see just how strong some different fishing knots are. Well, folks, if you go fishing, you got to have a fishing knot. It ties together your hook, your swivels, your lures, everything you fish with. And uh, you need to have a secure knot. There's a lot of them out there. The clinch knot, improved clinch knot, uh, snail knots for hooks, the Palomar knot. There's a ton of them out there. And we're going to try a few of them. I put up some videos recently that show how to tie some of these knots. And today we're going to put them to the test. So we've got a scale here. We're going to tie up some stuff and kind of do a little informal test to see where some of these knots break and which one turns out to be the strongest. All right, folks, so here's how the plan's going to work. I'm going to use some relatively light line so we don't have to kill ourselves trying to break it. And that's some of this uh, slime line, uh, six pound uh, monofilament. I'm going to tie it up onto here with a Palomar knot. And on the other end, I'm going to have a hook and uh, we're going to put a clinch knot on here to see how these fare first. So on this end, I've got a Palomar knot. On this end, I've got an improved clinch knot. We're gonna put them on the scale and pull and just see what we get here and which one is the first one to go. Six pound line, pow. All right guys, there you go. There's the clinch knot. It is gone. The Palomar knot still attached. You can see where it came apart at the knot itself. I'm gonna retie this, uh, try a new piece of line. We'll try it one more time, see what we get. All right guys, one more time, just for effect. We got the Palomar knot on this end. We got the improved clinch on this end. We'll put it on the scale just to see how the line holds up. Boom, boom, here we go. There you go guys. It was the improved clinch knot they gave way both times. All right, guys, we're going to try another one. This time the uh, Palomar knot is on this end. And I've got a snailed circle hook on this end. So let's see which one goes here. Easing down, easing down, easing down, easing down. There you go, guys. That is the snailed end. That is the Palomar knot. Let's do it one more time to see if the results are true. Look it on the here. Ease it down, ease it down. A little more line this time. Let's see what happens. Oh! Well, we may have had the snail hook is still in place. I gotta go find the other one. <laughs> oh, looky here, looky here. The snailed hook is in place. I actually put a couple more wraps on it this time. And I think I got about seven wraps around there that time. This one broke. Let's do this one more time and just to see, and then we're gonna try something a little different after this one. All right, guys, let's try it one more time. Palomar knot on this end, snailed hook on this end. And that's using a uni snail, in case you're asking. Get it down here and get the pull on it. Let's see what we get. Pow, there you go, guys. The snail went again. There's the Palomar tied on there. That's so why I wanted to do it again, just to see if there was a flaw. You wanna do it one more time? Let's try it one more time. All right, guys, one last time. We got the Palomar knot on here, the snail hook here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three out of four, the Palomar wins. All right, folks, so here's what we've determined so far. We've determined that the Palomar knot is stronger than the improved clinch knot and the snail knot uh, with both of those knots breaking before the line did. So the last experiment, just to see how strong the Palomar knot is, is gonna be Palomar knot against Palomar knot. All right guys, let's try this now. Palomars on both ends. Again, six pound slime line. All right guys, there you go. 
This knot's still intact. That knot is still intact. If you look right there, it broke about a half an inch above the knot. So the knot, the Palomar knot, is actually stronger than the line itself. All right, guys, let's do it one more time. We got Palomar knots on both ends. Let's see how they do. Put the weight on it, put the weight on it, put the weight on it. Pow. All right, guys, there it is again. Both knots remained intact, believe it or not. The knots are stronger than the actual line was. So what does that tell you? It's one heck of a knot. That's the, uh, that's the big takeaway in all this. Um, obviously, whatever line you're fishing, whether it be six pound like we're using here with the slime line that we're actually using to test out or if you're using 20 40 50 pound line you're never going to put as much pressure on the line uh, as much drag on the line as the rated weight of the line you're always going to be less than that so uh, with that in mind uh, you can go fishing with confidence knowing that uh, the paddler or not is not going to fail you well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're going to like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.